Hello and welcome back. I hope everybody had a good weekend and is uh, set up for this week. <laughs> but let's see, let's see what we're in for today. It's clam blitz, piranha pit, skipper pavilion. So nice, complicated one. Let's have a quick warm up. Um, I've not, I didn't play over the weekend or anything. Just had a nice chilled weekend, so that was nice. Got some surfing in, relaxed. Got my relax on. And yeah, that's been about it. So now back to some Splatoon. It was kind of nice not to stream for a weekend actually. It's been a little while since I... It's uh, been actually a little while since I probably took two days off. So it felt, pr felt pretty good. As I say, got some surfing in which is always, always nice. Now we're back to it. And I still have a crown, I believe, which is uh, not good. I never want a crown. It's a big, it's a big lie. <laughs> I'm sure we'll shake that off us pretty fast today. I mean, that's been, what's the date today? The 9th? 10th? 9th? I think I played this, what, around the 2nd or something? So I've not played it for a week. So I still got this crown from like that 1st or 2nd day. Maybe the 2nd, because the 1st was Splatfest, wasn't it? I, I believe. We're almost uh, We're almost good to go. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Slightly warm. <laughs> Okay, Piranha and Skipper, Clam Blitz. Complicated. We'll see how we get on. We'll see if there's players around. <laughs> that uh, could be an issue. I really don't want to be marked with top 500, especially like, it's been a week, you know, so maybe I should have even played just, in the, just to burn it off. Because <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably down at like five, six thousandth or something at the moment, I reckon. But even if I stayed around the score at the end of the stream, which I probably won't. I mean, I probably won't. I definitely won't. Um, I'll instantly drop to five, six thousand. But we'll find out after the first game. I think I was like 400 and, 460 something, I think. I think, place. So it'll show us. It'll show us where we fall. We'll fall from there to whatever we are. See, look, bloody top 500. Embarrassing, very embarrassing. Utter fraudulent. I think it let, I think you keep it for the whole rotation, I believe. I didn't see them actually come up there. That's quite, that's quite crazy that I saw the bomb, but never saw them come up. Good bomb from them. They'll get... Oh, we scored. I can't hit this person. Oh, it's Kiver! <laughs> I just realised who it was. That's Kiver. That makes sense. Holy crap. I'm having a hard time hitting them though as well, but that is Kiver's that is Kiver's name.
Well, that was some good bombs again. How's it going? I hope you're good. You've had an eventful few games. Nice to hear. Well, I guess not nice to hear, but if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think Toxiva, uh, like Tox Kiver or Toxiva is uh, Kiver's, um, what you call it, thingy account. Hey Holger, how's it going? Lolger, yeah, how's it going? I hope you're good. I hope you're having a good day and thanks for the follow as well. I saw you followed the other day, so that's greatly appreciated. It's clams and your team did shit. Yeah, that happens. Okay, they've got the top one. Okay, good, but we need to protect this one. I accidentally have a top 500 crown at the moment, so um, I'm not too happy about that. I was unhappy when I got it. Just getting wrecked here by Kiver. You got Twitch the other day, oh nice. Nah, like I accidentally got top 500, so uh, like at the start of placements and I haven't played since, so. Yeah, I haven't played since, so I've got this stupid crown on me, so I, d I really don't want it. Nice shark there. There we are. They're probably sitting up. Yeah. Okay, they did get him. Oh my word. I didn't think that was going to hit us. That was really stupid. I dropped... I dropped clams for them on that death as well, so... Okay, nice picks. Well, I did nothing that game. Nice. Yeah, I did nothing. But yeah, I'm sure Tox Iver, Tox, Toxic Iver, or however you say it, is like Kiver's one. The Octo shot that was going ham on the other team. Yeah, look at... I did, I did nothing. It's his, like, Smurf account, I believe. I did so little, I got my ass carried and just got a plus 31 for it. Why is this game pain? It can be, for sure, plus. But yeah, how's everyone doing? I haven't actually properly said hi to everyone. I hope, uh, plus, I hope your day's going well. And uh, Lolga, I hope you're, I hope you're having a good morning. I hope everybody's had a good weekend as well. Oh, I didn't look at my. I forgot to look at what. What rank did I go to? Ah, I'm having a mint. What rank did I go to then? I didn't look. It should have. It should have shown me. Totally didn't check at all. That was the whole point in this was actually to see what I went what I went to. You got like 23 in tower control yesterday, but only won like four games. That's decent though, Lolga. Um I'm really low. I'm really low on everything else. I had a to I've had a total disaster. Um so I think I'm like I maybe only just made it back to 2100 in Tower Control and Rainmaker, but I might just be below 2100 as well. Had a horrible time. 
But yeah, 2300, that's a solid tower score as well. Good stuff. Oh, I really don't... <laughs> I really don't want this crown on me. Please get it. Please get it off. No, I shouldn't have gone. I thought I thought I was gonna get. I thought they were gonna be shooting with me, but they weren't. So my bad. And then let them in to score here. These are gonna need to drop back. Okay, they jumped out, they jumped out. Well, I tried to play, it didn't work. Hey Recon, how's it going? I've still got a stupid crown left over from accidentally hitting top 500 at the start of the... at the start of the month, you know? Like last week. Any this ways? No, we're too down. Where's our Gootuber? Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for our Gootuber to be holding this. You've missed a lot. Oh, you haven't missed anything. I Please save that. They get pushed. Trying to get this in. You got a bubble hat, nice. Good work. Well, Want one? I don't know if they want one or not. Unfortunate there. I think this is one of the better clans maps. It's kind of a weird one. It's a little, it's complicated for sure. Come on, could have saved that. It's it's more of a complicated map, I would say. It's sort of cool, but definitely complicated. It's like you definitely need to hold this. You definitely need to like hold this area, you know. Jank. Plan bits from Walleye is the worst ever. It's definitely up there with one of the worst ones for sure. Right, we need to get a power clam together. Okay, Kiver's on it. Need to go around the other side. Come on, push in.
I actually saw them drop off the map then. Okay, Kiver's doing a nice job there. Most of my friends are back at school now. Their isolation is over, except for one, because he started on Thursday. Okay. Yeah, things are tightening up a wee bit here as well, so... I don't exactly know what's going on. Four points. 27, god damn. Okay, it never gave me... Like, I don't know, I don't know where I am. I'm not even paying attention. So I don't know what the first drop, I should have from the first drop have got, like, it should have given me my number, but I never paid any attention. So I don't know, I don't know what's happened. I think it's Kiver on his Smurf. I, don't quote me, but like, Toxiver is, um, is Kiver's Smurf name. And from the way they're playing, I'm pretty sure it is Kiver. Um... But that's like, that's like their Smurf name. I also, I think I got those scores as well, because I'm not that, like, I did my placements and I probably did like five or maybe six games afterwards. So I'm still in that like dodgy zone, so I can easily lose a, a, a minus 60. But it's embarrassing having a crown. Oh, there's MIG. It's an, it's an embarrassment having a crown. But I'm not saying for certain, but that was like Kiver's, um, what do you call it? Is a Smurf account. It's a good like Smurf name as well. Okay, we can go off that. Okay, not a bad opening push. What an idiot. Have a good... Have a good uh, class recon, thanks for stopping past. Yeah, it's just like his... Well, I mean, he calls it his Smurf account, but it's just his really his alt account that he doesn't really care about. That's all. It's not really like a Smurf as such, but it's not his like main account. I mean, it is his build and everything like that. Yeah, nice shots. I thought they'd be behind the sponge. Like it's, uh, so he, he just plays on it for fun. I assume it's him. I mean, they're playing like... It's good when you're trying to defend, but there's actually no, but none of your team there. That's the problem with this map as well, is that you can find that's, that's going to happen. Where's this sploosh left? I feel that they're not too far away. Yeah, nice shots. These two mats are your favourite, you wish you were at home. Yeah, that's a GG. Well done, Kiver. Well done, Meg. Um, we had a DC. I don't know when our DC kicked in, but... Yeah. No idea when we had that DC, so I'm not sure whether it'll count or not. Luck. Lucky. Might have been a rage quit.
when I get back home, I'm going to get your X ranking clams back. Oh, did you drop out? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Or do you just mean you're going to build your score back? So embarrassing, I really don't want this thing on my head. I I really don't, it's just, it, like, I don't want it, I don't deserve it. You're at S9, plus 9 now. I'm sure you're gonna get it back like no dramas at all. Not I'm sure, I know you're gonna get it back. Because, uh, I know how you play, so... Well... I hate when you're telling someone, ouch, but really what you did was bait somebody in to get killed in solo queue. Like, baited one of your teammates in. I feel I do that sometimes. Hey, uh, sorry, I, I, I haven't read your name properly. Uh, I, I haven't read it, sorry, they're going to splash down. Next time I die, I'll read it. How's it going? I hope hope you're good. Hope you're having a good day. That seemed a little bit late in there. What is it? Aku Jules? <laughs> I probably said that wrong, but I hope you're good. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping past. I should ignore them because they, I should have ignored them, they had no clams, nobody's got any clams, it was totally fine to ignore them, they're just a distraction. And they got killed, oh they traded, but that was actually just a, Aku Jules, I said it right, okay. I was kind of like, it's one of those scenarios, I didn't have a chance to read it properly, because uh, I'm just like trying to not, not throw games here, but I'm throwing. But how's your day going? I hope I hope it's good. Just get some map control back. Right, silly, can't go near I can't go near that. Where's my team at? I have nine, they're two down. Right. They've got splash down, we need to... No! What an idiot! Your university to approach your online education sucks ass. I fucked up then. At least, um, at least you're getting some online stuff though as well. I know a lot of people in the UK have been having, I don't know where you're from, but like people at university in the UK have been having a rough, a rough old time at the moment as well. Just hopefully get lead off that, yeah. You're French, okay, bonjour, ça va. <laughs> and don't, I, that's it, that's all I know. Yeah, I hope you're good. I hope I hope you've been. I uh, hope your studies are going well. It was a bit strange, but you're listening to the stream dur during class. Nice. That's what I was looking for, that splashdown. Okay. They're over on left. The last one on left and they're coming in from left. 30 seconds to go. I mean, realistically, if we hold... If we just hold the map control, don't give them a chance to push, then... Don't give them a chance to push. It dies instantly. 
The new X rank up X protects you from stream snipers. Not quite, but it does help a little bit. It definitely does help a little bit. Like lobby sniping, but we've seen uh, a lot of people are still getting into the lobbies, you know. But I mean, it is a bit more difficult. A few people, a few people have been like, "I'm in your lobby. I'm in your lobby," and then they weren't. They thought they were. So, um, <laughs> protects you from stream snipers like you. Nah, it's all good. A lobby snipe here or there is not too bad as long as people are pro playing properly. Plus two, fair enough. You're doing really well. I had, um, I got really lucky with my placements. I'm not that long outside my placements. Like, realistically. Like, I did my placements and played a couple matches afterwards and went to 2300. And then I've been really lucky this morning. Like, I got carried a lot last time and I got ca I'm got i getting carried today as well. But yeah, thanks. It's it's been a bit, it's been, I've had a bit of a, lu a lucky streak in clams. I mean, it'll end soon. I've had a lot of unlucky streaks in Rainmaker. Like, Rainmaker, I played off stream the other day and had 15 straight losses. 15. <laughs> You'll drink to that. <laughs> Like, I couldn't do a single thing to win a game. So I've had some pretty big uh, highs and lows this month, that's for sure. So far, and we're only, we're, we're only like, just over a week into it. Have a good day, Lolga. Uh, thanks for stopping past. I hope your class goes well. And good luck on your clams later as well. You know what? We've, we've gone three down at this bottom section. Not, like, three down as in dead, but, like... And I'll, I'll need to keep control of this section as well. And there is a foil like trying to push in here, so. Bobble scare the shit out of me. Think this one will be a loss. <laughs> we got Savage there. They've got enough on them to end it here. Yeah, they've got enough on it to finish it. Well, there you go. Aku Jules, thank you very much for the follow. That's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. You gotta go now as well. No worries, have a good day. Thanks again for the follow. Thanks for stopping past and enjoy your day, Jules. That's, uh, yeah, really appreciated there. So minus 50, let's see it. Oh, minus six, no problem. <laughs> Yeah, we got smoked then. El Smokeified. Battle time. Peep it. Ah, oh, the crown's just an embarrassment. It really is. <laughs> Most people would be hyped. Yeah, I've got a crown or whatever. Me, no. It's just a lie. It's just a goddamn lie. Oh, I thought I'd maybe sneak that last one in. I mean, for an opening push, getting it to 42 is not so bad. Ooh. 
We've already lost a lot of map control here. Okay, good stop, well done. Let's regain map control and... Start to maybe move up a bit. No. I had nine on me, so that was pretty bad. Oh, the last one. Oh, well, we just wiped, so we've pr got a good chance of losing lead here. Well, that was unfortunate. I hope somebody picked up... Did we pick up the extra one? That's fine, yeah. I should have gone back up the rail. I thought maybe someone was still in there. They get the jump in. It's actually really good rain. Spicy rain. Just need to get... That was kind of a desperation push, that one. Where we were just pushing in just to get lead. So we did manage to get lead off it. Nice picks, actually. The same again as it's like map control. Oh, come on, NASA, play. It's funny, like, I've seen them around a lot, like, it's been a while, but I, I used to see them quite often uh, going AFK. Kind of weird, like ages and ages ago, you know. Okay, so they need one and, I think they need one and, one and four. So we need to play heavy, heavy defense here, but someone's already in position down the bottom. And they've got way a lot of uh, stuff on them to make this possible, so, and they've got rain and they've got their... No! Why fall off the map? I just threw. That was a th that was a massive throw. Of all the times for me to do my falling off the map shizzle. Oof, well played team. My god. This is down to the wire. I can't believe I fell off the map. I mean, I can. As I said, I fall off the map a lot recently. But holy shit, what an idiot. That was almost very costly. Well played team, that was actually good uh, Good work there. All that for a plus five. Eek. <laughs> I was actually quite worried when I jumped with that the power clam as well, as be like, will I miss this? You know when you're just kind of looking, you're like in the air, be like, I hope I get this. Damn, falling off the map like an idiot.
That was a pretty uh, exciting game. <laughs> Nice. I threw all my clams away, so uh, I don't have any. No, that was a bit unfortunate. Bit of a shame we didn't have any extra clams there. It was a good it was a good start at a push, but just once again it's one of those situations where just one of those situations where just not having enough clams on us proved to proved to be our downfall. It's quite a classic thing for clam blitz though. I don't want them. Kinda don't want them. They've got a ton of spe specials. Okay, they are two down. Well, that sucked. That sucked. There was a clam there and it disappeared just as I was away to pick that up and get a push on. The team's pretty good. We're doing a good job, but... I'm just going to jump out. Squeezers down on left. Bubbles. You know what? I think we can ignore them. No, we can't. I thought we could. Did they die, though? Where did they go? Trapped between a chicken and a curling bomb. Hey, uh, Stro Kongen. Koenig, sorry. How's it going? I hope you're good. I hope you're having a good day. Hope you've had a good weekend as well. I wasn't on this weekend. I was like, had a nice chilled out weekend. I say chilled out, but I was surfing and I got smoked a bunch, so. <laughs> like, destroyed a load of times. I ain't got nothing for you. We just don't have enough clams. No. A fine work started so I can watch some Splatoon in the background. Oh, nice. That's uh, <laughs> not the worst way to spend your work day. There's a lot of clams over here.
Bubbles scare the shit out of me. Okay, they're white. That's it. Good work. Well played. You're playing- are you playing League? How did your matches go until now? I've been getting carried, so they're not too bad. <laughs> They've been okay. I think we've lost one or two. I think we've lost- no, we've lost two. And one all the others. I've not been playing for that long. How long have we been playing for? Just over half an hour, so not too bad. There you go. I may say I have a, it may say I have a top 500, but I'm just back in the top 2000 somehow, randomly. I uh, uh, Drago and Plus, are you playing league together or something? Getting carried has most kills. Yeah, but I did like, I have been getting carried lately. Not in my other matches. It's only Clan Blitz has gone well. Splat Zones has been like okay. Rainmaker and Tower Control, oh my god. I've tanked. They're just like, those scores are just trash at the moment. <laughs> and remember when you play NZAP, there's a, a lot of falsehoods on being being top because it's uh, you get quite a few assists. What did it say? 15? I probably had probably had 10 assists or something like that. <laughs> The old ends at padding your score out so you don't look quite as bad. You might play the next zones rotations, want to get to X rank someday. Koenig, if you just, uh, like, get into, getting into X rank's a bit of a mindset, and if you do, if you do grind, then you do make it there, you know? As long as you, you don't have too many runs of, like, playing poorly or whatever, then you can just grind it out. Sometimes it's a bit slow. But as long as you keep the mindset of, like, when you're in S+, plus, just be like, I just need to make it to the OK line first, and that's it. Just set that as your primary goal and then just rinse and repeat. So your first goal isn't to move move that forward, it's just to get to the halfway line. Make it to the halfway line and then start pushing and just repeat it over and over and over again and you'll make it. Once you've hit like S plus two, you're basically in X rank. Apart from it takes time, you know? So you'll get it, it just, it can just be a grind. It's just a grind, you know? If you've made it to S plus, you'll just grind it out. It can be slow, but you'll make it. It's set up, it is set up so you make it, you know? And we've had a disconnect. Oh my word, they were out of ink as well. Made it to S plus on make, Rainmaker, however, sometimes a struggle to find motivation. Yeah, I understand that. Like, sometimes you're just like, oh, I just can't be bothered, like, playing and grind it out. I thought they were a little bit laggy. I did think that that, that, that junior was a little laggy. Yeah, they are for sure. Oh, they're also ninja squid, so there is that. Bit of a shame we could have taken lead off that. There's...
That rain is a... Uh, that's good rain from then. Eek. That was unfortunate. But yeah, I, I, I find that, like, actually being motivated to play sometimes can be hard. You don't want to, like... You don't want to... You don't want to go in, you know, like, unmotivated and then... And then lose, but... Uh, I thought I was. I thought they were gonna miss, which was silly. Hey, Shonda, how's it going? I hope you're good. You're just having a lurk around. Yeah, I've got. A, I accidentally got a top 500 uh, crown um, from last month. Well, not last month. Sorry, from the from doing early placement. So I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by the fact that I have that on my head because, uh, as we all know, is I barely should be an X rank, let alone have a crown like that. But. Where did they go? You know what? I'm just gonna scoot down, try and get some clams together. Oh, have they got double hammer? Yeah, they've got L3. I was thinking the hammer was coming off the... What you call it? The tent. What's dragging me down the most is the lobby power. I usually can't... I usually get into the lowest... lowest levels. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it can be a bit annoying. Don't fall off the map. If we get some clams together... Like, I, I feel this one... We're running out of time, but I definitely feel that this is a... Uh, I don't think this is not not doable. Nice bomb throw. Unfortunate. They can often play bad. It's completely random who wins. I mean, I'm not an X rank player, but I watch most of the, most of them, and at least to play like them, that somehow makes it worse. And you're carrying with spru sploosh and uh, ginger LZ. How's it going? I hope you're good. Yeah, I mean that was just a bit unfortunate with uh, us having a DC. That was definitely winnable. That one, even with the DC, like we could have won that. Next. Next clams or Mako Humpback in five hours, I'll have to join in on that and actually try to rise towards it. X. Nice one, Ginger LC. You're going quite all right, thank you. No worries. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, like, my Rainmaker, my Rainmaker, I had a disaster in Rainmaker this month. Um, really bad. Like, and some of the stuff is definitely my teammates, but then the only consistent thing in the game is, like, yourself. You know your teammates are bad, and I find in Rainmaker it's, like, Sometimes you almost have to play a bit silly and you can't always rely on your teammates like depending on what weapon you're playing like I've been in Rainmaker matches where I've had three backliners and none of them will pick it up I've had a Hydra, a Heavy and a Gootuber and just me playing ends up and the three of them just refuse to pick pick the Rainmaker up So like you'll spend about three minutes of your time just like trying to figure that out sometimes and sometimes in Rainmaker solo just grab it and move it forward or move it into the correct a correct position like 
Like take, like out, say you're playing Rainmaker Albacore and loads of people try and push it on your right and it's a shit way to push and you need to push left. So sometimes, for example, in Rainmaker solo, I'll just pop the Rainmaker and start moving it left. Even if I die and I get it over to left, at least then my team doesn't have a choice to go right or do something stupid. So sometimes in Rainmaker solo is it's like you kind of have to do these stupid plays to force your team into like taking the Rainmaker the correct way. Like it's the same with like Camp Triggerfish, getting it over onto your left elbow. Sometimes I'll just grab the Rainmaker and just move it a little bit left there. And then the push has to go left and it makes things a bit easier. But sometimes it's like you have to do dumb shit in Rainmaker solo to kind of make it work. And same with just like randomly snatching it and charging with it as well. They're not how you technically should play the game, but it's like solo queue plays can kind of pay off. You do that in Muscle Force sometimes and take it to the right. Yeah, exactly. Like if you get it down the drop, then they're not going to push all the way back up to take it, try and take it left. It's a stupid play, but sometimes you need to do it in solo queue. You want to play that hump, uh, Mako Humpback Clams rotation as well. <laughs> nice. But for me, I like people hate clams, but Rainmaker in solo, I think, is way worse than clams. And I mean, I think even Rainmaker when you're playing with like people are playing with good people is definitely the worst mode. For just random bullshit, you know, like you can dominate a game so hard and just wipe and then that's it, game over. You know, like Walleye, classic example. If you wipe on Walleye, it's like oh, pretty much kiss that good, kiss that lead you had goodbye, you know. So, pff, well, I could lose like 60 points here. You'd think I'd get into a slightly better lobby. 2090 and I've got like 2370. Classic matchmaking from Nintendo. We'll see how it pays off. Holy crap. We have no clams, so there's no point in us doing a single thing here. Like, towards their side. Absolutely no point. Got eight, you just need two. Think we're safe? No, we're not. They're gonna get, yeah, I was about to say they got that one in. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. You should have been dead. Well, I feel we're going to lose a lot here. Okay, they did stop that. Oh, you need to go for clams. Have you got any on it? See, this is a pointless... We don't actually have any on us, so... I got the score in. I don't think we'll get the jump in or anything like that. No one picked that up, but... And we're all down, I think. Uh, unfortunate. Had a little chance there to take some lead. <laughs> yeah, the the old uh, the old big the old big follows. You know what? I think we should go down this way.
Maybe not. Kill the bot. Yeah, I'm kind of busy at the moment, so... Oh, they've had a DC. I did think that person was pretty laggy. One clam, okay. I just threw a... I just threw a what you call it in the basket. There we are. <laughs> I threw a, a suction bomb in the basket. <laughs> like an idiot. Well, we got a little bit fortunate there, that's for sure. Too bad it doesn't make the clams rattle if you throw a bomb in. Yeah, like it, it drops them out or something, but... It's, it's sad, but a single DC can change the whole game. I mean, it's one of those though, but they were actually... Like, when someone's lagging around, and they're especially in that, then I'm like, whatever, I'll take it. I feel it's a bit of a shame on the other team, but, you know, if someone's lagging and there's a massive tent, I'm like, oh well. Because they should have been dead. I saw a couple times they should have been dead, and then they weren't where they were meant to be, but it is what it is. The bullshit comes and goes. That's why you don't play frontline on Rainmaker anymore. People don't push the lane maker, rain maker when you've been been slaying. Yeah, it can be quite frustrating. That's for certain. You're playing Sploosh and doing surprisingly well. <laughs> Sploosh seven. Sploosh seven's a good rain maker of choice. Yeah, Sploosh 7. Yeah, that works. Super fast pops a Rainmaker. Like crazy fast. You like my controller cam? Thanks very much. It was actually a bit of a pain to set up, but... It's just something I thought I'd do when I started doing this, just because no one else does it. Well, some people occasionally do, but not like consistently. So I thought, well, it's just a little, it's just a little something that's a little bit different. You like splat bombs? Yeah, splat bombs are super, super useful. You would like it if you didn't have hammer. Hammer's just, hammer's really, really good. It's just like, uh, like a, tr a bit of a tricky special to get the most out of. Oh, nice. You can't just push in there. Well, that was dumb.
Well, I delivered it. I didn't do a good job after that, though. That's all we got. Yeah, dude does. Yeah, I know, dude. Dude does uh, some of his YouTube videos with it, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't. I didn't think there was too many people like streaming, and I knew he, I knew he'd done that before as well. But yeah, it's pretty like rare. And the, actually, one of the one of the people I've seen that used the hand cam was Baggage. Baggage used the hand cam, who's like a sticks player, just because he thought it was interesting. Can't do anything in solo queue clans. Can be complicated for sure. Where's Flarko at? Okay, they've got quite a few on him. What the hell? Speedy boy. Okay, we should be able to pick up and get a yeah, push that failed shark. Yeah, it's one of those. I got a bit lucky and just put a couple random shots in on him. It does happen, and you're like, oh shit, and then realize it's a roller and get away. But I mean, I've failed so many sharks. It's so embarrassing when you fail sharks. You're like, you're like, oh, this shouldn't happen. They do have splashdown. Putting in the work though. I'm always trying, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I do always try. <clears throat> that's a, that's all you can do, you know? And sometimes just like, just painting the map, especially as an ends app, just keeping the map painted, trying to stay alive a little bit, which I am bad at trying to stay alive, you know? Um, is enough. And then having good teammates as well helps like, you know, Getting a bit lucky. <laughs> Getting a bit of luck on my side. Top 10 is possible. No, not at all. Not at all. <clears throat> Top 10 is like insane. Even even just now, I mean, the, I don't know what, what the Clam Blitz like number one score is, but it's probably like, it's, it's high. What you have to go to? Stats, don't you? Stats. Ranking... Yeah, Clan Blitz at the most. So, okay, Splat Zone's number one is 28.36. Tower Control is 27.51. Rainmaker is 27.30. And Clan Blitz is 27.34. And we're only... We're only... Um, we're only, what, nine days into it? So the scores are already pretty high this month. You picked... Uh, Kenza Gluga's last match for clams. It's been pretty fun being a fizzy main. <laughs> Have you any capture cards I could get for a cheaper price than three hundred? I'm planning to stream, but I'm hella broke. Um, I, 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 I don't know any exact ones. Plus, but just go on and look at like eBay. You get ones from China, and just check the reviews that they're fine. Because I think you'll get ones like dirt cheap. Like I've got. I've got one that was like the equivalent of probably your like uh, Australia, like $15 or something that I used for, for my main camera. I realized that was Flarco and I'm an idiot. Um, that was like the equivalent of your like $15 or something. Um, and you can technically use it for streaming off, but I think there's other ones that are probably closer to like 40 that are probably better. Behind. Yeah, I threw. But I, I couldn't say for sure what their names are, you know? But, um, I mean, how much money do you want to spend? Like, the one I've got isn't isn't that expensive. I mean, it's like, it still costs probably like, oh, I can't remember. It was like a hundred and, I can't remember how much it was, 120 pounds or something like that. I think we can go, I think we can go this way.
if you're quick. No, I tried. Your highest would probably be a hundred. Yeah, honestly, just go onto eBay. Like, I, I can't say for certain because like a lot of these eBay ones are just like, they're all like rebranded different name ones and stuff like that. But I bet you'll get one for like 40, 50 bucks or something. And if you're streaming Switch, it doesn't need to be anything crazy, you know? Like, if you're just streaming Switch, you can stream it. 720p 30 as well, but if, if you need to. As long as it does 720 60, then you're then you'll be all good. I'm not getting a push in off that. I know that for a fact. That pushes over. That was unfortunate. But yeah, I'd recommend eBay and just read reviews. And don't be scared to get one cheap. Like, as I say, like, I got... You know, like, what the Elgato Cam Link is? Basically, I got a couple of those to use for... for my webcam. Which isn't a webcam, it's actually a proper camcorder. Like this one. I think it costs, like... Probably, as I said, like, $15, $15 or something for use. I think as long as you've got... The other thing you need is, is like, if you get a powered HDMI... Uh, what is it? Splitter. A powered HDMI splitter as well. So even if the capture card's a bit shit, you won't get lag off it or anything like that. No! Mapped again. Yeah, all the Elgato ones and stuff like that are fine. Like, they'll work totally good. We're not saving that anyway, but... Favourite thing to do. You know what? We just have no clams. We need to get some clambo wambos together. That one die, or is it still alive? No, they're still alive with it. Okay, go, 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 go. Gave us a little chance. A little chance. And we're wiped. Okay, so we really need to get a power clam together, like, fast. So that's the first objective of this. I'm trying, I'm giving us every opportunity here, but it was a good push. It was a good try, but it's just the pro and we don't have any clams, so that's it. Unfortunate GG's, but we did try there. We'll probably lose quite a few points for that, but you know, there you go. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I don't feel like salty about that one or anything. We gave it a try. I mean, I'm going to lose like 25, maybe 30 points or something, but like games like that, like I'm fine with, you know. We gave it a good go, we gave ourselves a good chance, so... Minus 22. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at that. Oh, we're out the top 2,000. No big deal. And using the capture card to stream on Discord and let others watch your games. For reference, I would be using the capture card to what watch through your games and review, but I don't know whether the Ethernet adapter would be more convenient. I mean, personally, like, I would definitely buy an Ethernet adapter for, for, play, for playing this game. 
you're giving like you're helping others out and you're helping yourself out by having one would be the first thing I would buy. But if you're wanting to stream, you need to start somewhere. But some of them are like some of them are crazy cheap. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Pink Shipping. <laughs> I like your name as well. Thanks for the follow, and I hope you're having a good day. It's much appreciated. Um, yeah, but as I said, you could try you could try these little. They're basically cam link ones. They were all over the place. People have done reviews on them. They're just like cam link ones. They look like USB sticks. They cost like ten bucks or something like that. But you do need uh, HDMI, a powered HDMI splitter to use them uh, just to stop any lag and for the switch they'll be fine just like 720 at 60 you'll you'll have no worries so I mean you could try that it's not too expensive and then if it doesn't work at least you've got a spare one <laughs> no worries pink shipping thank you it's really really appreciated um yeah uh yeah then at least it's it's not a lot of money but I mean personally if you don't have too much money and you're playing a lot and you're not planning on like streaming as such, I would probably go for the Ethernet adapter first. You don't want to stream like on Twitch or anything, but I like playing and letting people watch while I play. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong, like, you know, sometimes you could just stream or record just to, as you say, like review your gameplay and it's a bit easier to see what's got, gone wrong or whatever and gone right, you know? They're weak. They were weak. Yeah, personally, I'd go for Ethernet adapter first. If you're not like trying to like build a stream up or anything like that, then personally, I would go for Ethernet adapter. As I say, like the Ethernet adapter is, it's not only good for you, it's uh, good for everybody. Every single person you play with, you know, you're ma actually making their game better. You know, so it's almost like a nice thing to do. Bubbles. Okay, let's just stay around though as well. Oh, what a convenient clam spawn. Well played. You're bullying them. <laughs> the team was. Won't, this will be like low pointages. Low pointages. But you know, a win's a win. We'll take it, and a quick win's always appreciated. Yeah, that was a that was a fairly fairly swift. Yeah, I'm definitely hit the points where I'm just gonna get get a low a low number of points. You're in the S plus hell gang. That's still good though. Once you're in S plus, once you're in the S plus hell, it, you know, just grind it out and you'll be in X rank. And then, and then X rank can be pretty salt inducing as well. But <laughs> you'll get through it. Once you're in S plus, hit S plus two, you're in X. It's just a grind. You'll grind it out. Imagine having a good team in Clan Blitz. In all honesty, like I think you like. You see some pretty random shit in Clan Blitz, but in all honesty, I think it, it's less annoying than Rainmaker. I really believe that. It's like, you know, because Rainmaker, you can win super fast by someone just picking up and going and nobody picks up, you know? Like you wipe the team, your backliners like won't pick up the Rainmaker where you could have just like instant won. So I think like, and Clan Blitz is a little bit more complicated than that, than Rainmaker, where sometimes it's just like, Oh, they're three or four down. Pick the goddamn thing up and go forward, you know? It's a miracle you got plus S, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I understand that. I feel I should definitely be back in there. Uh, I don't think I should be an X in all honesty is like what I feel most of the time. But, you know, the system's set up to, to get you to X. Okay, no one there to defend.
Oh, if someone's coming up from the bottom. Okay. They do have a power climb at bottom. Someone was up top as well and rain came in, but it didn't quite... I was a way to say I was pretty sure I shot them down. Just same again, just like pick up map control because we don't don't have any. Well, I fucked up then. You need to get another monitor. Christmas is coming soon though, so you might get one then. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, they've had a DC. I have nothing for you, I apologize. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, the reason that I'm just I'm just stalling out a little bit here till we get clams in. That's all I've got. Well, there we are. You don't mind zones, tower is just me slaying my teammates refusing to get on the tower. Same for Rainmaker and Clams is bad in theory, but I do enjoy myself when I play. Rainmaker and Splat zones I really like personally, I played a lot of them in Splat 1, so getting S plus was, wasn't super hard, but Clams was suffering. Yeah, Clams, it just being a new game mode, you know, they, and, it, and it's definitely one of the more technical game modes for sure. There's quite a lot to learn, and I think, as you say, is like everyone kind of like understands Rainmaker. I think zone zones is like technically more complicated because, like, in essence, zones is super simple. Paint the middle of the zone, that's it. But there's so much more to it. So zones is actually kind of like surprisingly complicated on how to like hold zone and things like that. Rainmaker and Tower, like, they're basic. You sit on them or you move them forward. You know, that's it. So I think people understand them pretty fast. Like, I definitely feel like lower ranked people really enjoy Rainmaker, and I can see why. It's probably a bit easier to get wins and seems a bit more exciting. And then a bit later on, you realize it's like, hang on, Rainmaker's full of bullshit, you know? <laughs> but, you know, uh, but yeah, clams. I mean, when I did my clams, X wasn't a thing when I did clams. So I had to go and get S plus in clams. So it was quite it was quite interesting to like suddenly everyone had to do clams, you know? And just like that week of like run into S plus in clams was kind of exciting. But it was pretty crazy because the games were like you'd get really good people and you'd get people that are new to the game and didn't know what was going on. So it it was quite a thing to get to get S plus again in clams. I'm talking on my other account because this this account I just started from the start to to stream, so it didn't take me too long. It didn't take me too long to get X and everything, but I wasn't sure. I knew I'd get X and everything again, but I mean, compared to how I play now, I was like even more trash, and I'm still really bad. But I always knew I'd get X and everything, but I didn't know like I, I, it could have taken me 18 months or something like that to get to get to X. You only got the game in March. Well then you're doing doing pre pretty good, aren't you? Oh no. Nice splat bomb.
I have no clams here, so... Oh, it was Flarko. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, we scored. That was a good clam block. And they got the pick really well played. That was actually really well played, team. Well done. No! Yeah, good team again. You think ink, ink brush is your clan blitz main. It's a, it's a good weapon and you can be really annoying with it. Like, that's what, like, especially in solo, you know, you can be crazy annoying with a brush. Like, ridiculously annoying. Don't know if they want clams or not. No! Well, I did technically drop a clan for them. They got one. There was another one sitting there. They did get it. I've had some hell of a teammates. You're playing brush on clan, but it's but your meme and play full MPU brush. <laughs> so it doesn't really run out of... Run out. Oh no, you move super fast. That's what it is. You have three main six subs, I think. Damn. You remember C rank clams when you got it in March, people tried to open the basket by shooting at it. Yeah, I mean they really didn't like like those low clam blitz ones are, are quite something. They are quite something. I mean realistically in a lot of the the mo the low modes it's just like make a power clam and just rush in and just score it. It doesn't matter about follow up or whatever. Like I, I remember like same again, like remembering when I was running through and just saw like like we had the clam basket open. Someone had enough clams on them to win and they stood under the basket and didn't throw any clams in. <laughs> it was like, oh, come on, you can't do anything. You can't tell them. Like, maybe they don't know what to do. Just like, oh my God, just hit A. Just look up and hit A. Just hit A. Come on, win the game. And they're just standing there like, ah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> At least you get out of it pretty fast. But yeah, those low level clam blitz matches are quite spectacular. You, it's fun, you you uh, move super fast and Ink Trail is huge. Three cracks and still not at the line. You'll make it! Okay, two went bottom, so I'm going to stay top. One's gone down, though. Nice ink management as per usual. Don't know about that. I mean, do we have a power clam? I don't really have any clams on us, so... I think, I think this... Okay, we do have a power clam. They have gone down, though, but... Can it be saved? I don't know. Someone is...
someone was camping it. It's kind of annoying because I could kind of feel there. Uh, No, I'm an idiot. I did see that bomb as well. The mine's one of your favorites. Yeah, it's kind of like, mine is like, it's kind of like stealth really good. It does some stuff. It does some, gets some pretty comical kills from time to time as well. Fuck. I had nine on me. Maybe I should have picked one up. Oh shit! I stuck my little face out and got it wrecked off. That was a good ray though, yeah. It was a good ray. Eek. I mean we do have a little chance here to get a push in. The problem is is kind of need to move in together as a team. No! I couldn't see him, my bad. So we kind of, we threw there a little bit. Oh, the Octobrush one, yeah, that can be good as well. They can quite often have some pretty janky hit, that was well unfortunate, janky hitboxes on them as well. Okay, at least I cleared them out. It's it's um, it's not as fast as the as the brushes, the normal brushes, but um, it definitely can be pretty devastating as well. But I think that the normal brushes are easier to be like, like really quite annoying. No, I ran out of ink and got caught in a stupid little bit of ink there. You started playing scopes again to harass people with E-Liter. Yeah, sometimes I forget just quite how much range is on, on those E-Liters, you know? Another win. I, I killed two people that had armor with two consecutive ink mines. Good times. Shouldn't have worked, but still fun. Yeah, that sounds like fun. When you get stuff like that working, it's pretty cool. Well, there you go. Five points, maybe. Yeah, five. You use the beacon, not the beacon octo brush. Nice. It's really fun in a rank clan blitz lobbies. Yeah, like people don't people don't pay attention to like beacons either as well, and you can really mess people's games up by just putting beacons like on their side and just constantly jumping. I think those lower level lobbies, people aren't checking the map and being like, oh shit, there's beacons, we need to get rid of them and just kind of ignore them. 
top 1500 yeah but i mean we're still we're not even at 1400 so it's not going to stay there for long i've just been quite fortunate <laughs> i'm on a roll predicting the points and losses today it's kind of like you kind of hit that point where it's like well you're probably not going to gain many points and you're going to lose quite a lot so like Generally, if I win, I'm going to win somewhere between 0 and 5. And if I lose, I'm probably going to lose somewhere between 20 and 25. <laughs> so it, it, at this stage, it's probably not too hard. you got to win. Nice. Well, push going faster. I'll take the trade. It gave us an opening and dropped a few clams off, so there we go. Nice. Nice, well done. Okay. And we're still pushing, so... Shit, I dropped a lot of clams then. I should have paid a bit more attention. Well done, good pick. They were armoured. Bit of a shame, but at least somebody got the pick up off it. Threw that the wrong way. Ninja Squid Zap. They got. S is that just 10 missile stains on our side? I feel it is. Really good clan block again. No! Unfortunate. I should have paid attention to this part. You're a little bit burnt out too. Are you out? Sorry, I'm kind of like concentrating a bit so I'm missing chat. If you're out, thanks for stopping past. I hope you have a good evening, a good night, and thanks for stopping past. See, they've got like three sets of Tenta missiles, so... Come on, we've got enough to do it! Get in there! Well played. Yeah, take it easy plus, and... Yeah, good night! <laughs> Thank for the motivation, bro. Have you seen the Barry? He's a really good Charger player. I haven't, but I do know who he is. Um, I think it's like good content. Oh, come on. One more point. One more point. But I mean, that's it for clans. Um, uh, but I do know who he is and how he's really good uh, and makes really good content. But I just think his time zones is like I rarely see, see him on. I know one point would have been nice. Zones. Right, okay, I'm going to take a quick break and change the stream title as well. To, I don't know, just chilling. <laughs> or trying to have a chilled one. <laughs> there we go.
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go fill my water up, take a quick bathroom break, and then I'll be right back for some Splat Zone Sturgeon ink block, and we'll see how that goes. You wanna cook a late breakfast, early lunch, nice. Nice. Right, give me a couple minutes and I'll be back. Here we are, we're back. <clears throat> the Barry's only got a few hundred subs on YouTube, okay. Let's see how this zo goes, this zones goes. <laughs> Man, I should have started streaming five minutes b before I did and at least had a chance at <laughs> one more Clam Blitz game, but oh wells. Thinking of doing League later. Uh, what's the what's the rotations? Are you sticking around, Drago? I'll see how this goes for a bit. Or just rank today. I don't know. We'll see how these Splat Zones games go. I'll either lose points and have to try and build it back up or I'll gain a few and then I don't mind dipping out if I gain a few. If I gain a few points then um then uh yeah I don't I might jump over to league for a bit. If it was uh Rainmaker or Tower just now I'd definitely be like just playing just playing ranked because those scores are really low, but as it zones then uh then I wouldn't mind trying to get a few more points, but we'll we'll see how it goes. You'll probably stick around, okay. We'll know at the start. Well, not necessarily, but we'll see how these games go at the start. <laughs> it would be nice to like, like, 2207 is really dodgy score. Like dodgy score for dropping below like 2200. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I saw one but didn't see the other, like an idiot. And we've gone two down now.
Ah, oh, my aim's so poor against them. Come on, surely we can get a cap on the go. There you go, well played. Tower on Kelpamore, oh, you're definitely all right then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, in all honesty, I'd still play that on League, but that's that's a prick. That is a disgusting. Uh, that's a disgusting rotation. There's no question about that. Don't know if I got clocked being down here or not. Hmm, they might be Japanese because there was a bit of latency there. That's the worst rotation I've seen lately. That is a that is a stinker. That is an absolute stinker. Okay, they jumped out. You can play run speed dynamo there. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I didn't realize they'd got up. Classic. Classic sticky bomb not uh, being in where it should be. Well played then, that was good good play from then. No, I'm an idiot. I also needed to paint zone. We definitely need to concentrate our efforts on zone. We've got bomb rush, so hopefully that's coming in just now. The thing with that was, is like I, they kept me distracted. You'll refuse to play kelp in ranked if you can help it. Run speed dynamo is a real start on Kelp because of the greats. You just sit up on the greats. I like it's one of those. It's like I've actually had some good results from tower control Kelp, but um, yeah, there we are. As I said, below twenty one hundred. Not a surprise, but it is a stinker. It is a stinker. But you just you just need to push it into the right position and then just start bombarding them with stuff. You enjoy Kelp and Tarf though. It's actually quite a good Tarf map. Zones, I really don't like it in zones. It's so hard to get back in and the zone's massive. Like the zone's way too big. It takes like forever to recap the zone in it as well. It's not a very good map. You don't mind turf kelp because charges are good on it. You like kelp and clams, it's okay in Rainmaker. Ah, uh, Rainmaker. I don't know, it can be a bit weird. And in solo, where people try and push it the wrong way, which occasionally works, you know, when you get kelp domed. 
everyone's over on one side and they take it over the grates, which can be a good strat, but it's a bit, it's a bit random. I think they're trying to charge their bubbles as well, so. I hate that. We had a 15 second game. Pretty fast. So like now they've got beacon over on the left, see? So they've got a beacon in just like there. I mean, people, people did listen to that ouch, so like I respect that. They listened for the flank, so that was fine. Getting kelp done, good god, yeah. I mean, that essentially what it is, is where people take it. Take it that way and, you, and your team doesn't notice, you know. Make things a bit, a bit complicated. They were still there. I thought they'd moved back. There's still one on top, but yeah, we needed to cap and then like start worrying about people. They're running the greats and you can't chase after them. Yeah, I think people as well don't even notice them though as well going that way. You know, it's just like people not being observant as well. I'll take those lucky, lucky fall off shots then. Just off that a little bit. Oh, nice, well done. Well held, that was well held. Good tent work there. Same again they are. Ah, they did need to paint. You always go left on Kelp Rainmaker, I refuse to have that happen to me. <laughs> oh, like at the start. Yeah, it's not a bad plan just to keep an eye on it, you know? But I mean, you do want to get pop fast. That's the other thing. But if you've got range, then it's good to, if you go like, you go that way. Plan fall off there. <laughs> I mean, I knew that they were over in that direction, but I was surprised to get the, to actually get the, get the pick. <laughs> Yeah, I knew you meant right. I knew, yeah, go and guard the right-hand side.
I usually hop over the perch to help with a fast pop or turf around the mid if we're not going to do that. Yeah. I mean, I on Rainmaker, I always trying to get, I always want to get the quick pop, but sometimes you just have to see where your teammates go. Because sometimes you go for the Rainmaker and you see your three other teammates go completely different directions, which is kind of rubbish, especially if they've got bombs on them. You know, if you've got a whole squad of people with bombs and then you're the only one that runs towards the Rainmaker for the pop, it usually doesn't end well. And they've gone off to do some, all three of them have gone off to do something else. <laughs> Oh, there's Kiver again. I don't know if he's streaming though. Maybe he's just chilling, playing. Shit, double armoured. It's just the expo, so let's just get painted up and... Yeah, knew I was dead then. Yeah, I always like to try and go for a quick pop on Rainmaker, but you do need a bit of help with that. You know what? I'm so bored of the amount of blobs we've been seeing lately. Come on, he's so weak. That roller is still like sharking in around here. No, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just threw. I just threw. Ah, oh, I threw. That was my bad. What a throw. Fuck me. Eek. Well, that was definitely unfortunate. Yeah, sorry, I need to refresh my chat again. I apologize if I've missed anything. Usual scenario. Now this is complicated. Kiver's got up here, so... And we're two down, so... Yeah, I threw... I lost this... I lost the game for not painting earlier, so that was my bad.
Well played the other team, but uh, I, I threw early a guy into that roller on zone. Like an idiot. So uh, I actually threw that game when we were down to one. Might be costly. Oh no, it's not. Damn, we would have got a good 20 points off that as well, but... There you are. Unfortunate, but no big deal. Might want to make a last it set for zones. Yeah, I've thought about that. I have thought about that. You seem to throw a lot of bombs and run out of ink. I definitely do. The problem is, is like I can throw bombs. I can throw bombs when I've got comeback on, it's fine, but obviously I only get 20 seconds of comeback. I have thought about that making a last ditch one, but for the amount of times I die, because I'm an idiot, I feel like comeback helps me a bit more, but you are right. My other option is to get rid of the comeback and put ink recovery on. Well, this one's a most definite loss. That's my other option, but yeah. I agree, Some, there is definitely something there. Uh, something up with that for sure. Yeah, good. They did well covering that. But I mean, on these small on these small maps as well, as you're right, like that's all you can do sometimes to get back in is like throw bombs. Stuff like that is like I should have those picks, you know. I mean, they act as a good distraction as well, so I don't know if they're still sharking, but we need to get back in. Yeah, Kiver's a beast! Boy's a beast. Oh, and they've sort of given up. All of the good players from all your games, crazy. Yeah, I kind of saw that they had. I'll probably. I bet I still lose twenty points or something. I mean, I got no picks, but I feel I was. I was actually trying, you know. Oh well, minus zero. Good skirmisher. <laughs> Yeah, whenever whenever the other team's got Kiver on it, regardless of who else they've got on it, even if they've got three other trash players, it's still a difficult time. I mean, regardless of the fact that his movement and aim's really good, it's just his uh, general game knowledge is so advanced that it's, it's hard to beat, you know? Very hard to beat. Very, very good player. Okay. Well, I thought we might have got a better hold off that, but evidently not.
I missed one of my bombs. Been doing that a bit lately, trying to do the double bombs and actually missing my first one. I'm trying to do it too quick, you see. Hey Recon, how's it going? You haven't watched much Kiver to be honest. You sh Kiver's like what, like insane. It's like absolutely insane to watch. Really, really good. Like what? Definitely one of the best in the West, without question. One of the best in the world. They got. No! Well done. Yeah, he's like... He's sort of in the same group as that, Sendai, Wasdom and all that. Like, he plays with them a lot as well. Well, like, plays with them, like, you know, like, will scrim, scrim them and stuff like that. So he is in that sort of group of, like, well, Western, Western like, European players. So it's just a zap up. Good chance of just taking this here, so. Just keep painted and. There we are, well played. Because he, he used to play, because obviously um, like Brian and Dude used to play together with Sendal and Urza. So he plays quite a bit with Urza. Yeah, they play for Crack and Paradise. I mean, technically, Crack and Paradise hasn't technically disbanded or anything. They're just, uh, they don't play together. <laughs> Thank you. How was your weekend, Recon? Did you get up to anything exciting? Well, I tell you about one of my waves that I messed up. The waves were pretty funky surfing this weekend. So I did surf Saturday and I surf Sunday. And the waves were like shutting down and closing out pretty fast. So one wave I went to drop in on was like paddling, went to drop in on, realized it was a way to close out, threw my board away, but then usually I cover my face because it quite often can like hit you and stuff when the wave explodes. Went into like a ball, covered my face, went under the water, the wave picked me up and pushed me through the water and slammed my ass into the floor. <laughs> it was like, holy shit, under the water, just literally got like, like just pushed all the way, like, like slammed, slammed my like ass right into the, the seabed. That was fun. That was one of my many, many slams. <laughs> Surfing at the weekend. I just didn't need to pop that then, that was way too early. That's a Hydra, you know what? They got that. Uh, we've had a DC. They've had a DC. Back to being fair again. Let's see whether this lobby stays alive. Someone behind me as well, but we could try and paint zone would have been would have been a better option there. Um, I mean, he, he can technically play anything, but he's he's he is front line, so he's basically playing shooters. Right, please go in and cap zone. This isn't that difficult, but we're okay. I need to. I need to do some stuff. Yep. Fucking hell. They had armor and I mean I hit them about 20 times. I don't know what's going on because the team doesn't seem to... seem to want to actually do anything here. That was a stupid loss. I don't know what was going on. Like, the team just didn't even bother trying then. 
He doesn't really play Julie's anymore. He hasn't played Julie's for a long time. He plays a lot of T-Tech, but he does play Julie's. He will play like CDS squelches, but it's pretty rare. That was that was abysmal. I don't think my team even bothered. Okay, it counted as a DC. I guess I guess we got our DC first, so there he goes. I don't know if someone just gave up or something. Yeah, he used to. Yeah, yeah, totally. He used to. He can play them. The these days, you'll mostly see him play T-Tech most of the time. Um, but he'll switch it. If he's scrimming or like in a tournament, he'll he'll play different weapons. But most of the time, he's T-Tech. If he's playing solo, he'll play T-Tech a lot. And very good ends at player as well. Just, shoot just shooters generally. But um, I've seen him playing around with backliners and like... Heavy Remix, he's a, actually a beast on a Heavy Remix as well. But I mean, when you've got when you've got so much game knowledge, like you can literally play anything, and you'll play oh, at least like well. You know, like, in, in X rank, you know, in rank. There's two of them. I'm dead. Uh, you know, you, you'll play well just because your position and your, your understanding of the game is so high. So, like, Beacon. I think they went down for it, but I don't think... It's kind of like, can't cover that, but... Kind of want to go down and clear that Beacon out. That was embarrassing. You're still shocked at the distance that Splattershot Pro can get you. Yeah, and with the with the main power up as well, the two shot kills the two shot kill on it's pretty like you know savage. So I thought they were a little bit laggy as well, but they're definitely quite laggy. But there's nothing uncommon about a laggy roller, is there, people? Let's try and keep their jump protected as well. I mean, I was marked, so being down there was pretty dumb. It was a good bowler break, though. Yeah, but didn't get the follow-up, so it was probably better leaving them alive. Okay, they've taken... <laughs> I feel we could have recapped there. I mean... They actually got in and got a beacon in behind us. Please hit them. You love V-Pro. Are they still shot? No, they're dead, so... But it's the same again as we need... Oh my word, come on. We need to clear that beacon out, so recap. You know they're gonna come from left, so recap's on. Popped for a, ne a low knee leader who can punch through armor. I hate that guy. <laughs> I should be doing better. I maybe take lead here.
bros. Okay. Pro fall off again. So they'll take lead here. This will be tough to get back in. Especially when we're like hiding as well. So. No. That was uh, pretty crazy. You love the V Pro Recon. Well, that was a bit close. Just a wee plus eight. Kind of messed up at the end because I had Tenta missiles and everything on us and I, I went on zone. I needed to stay well off zone. Lucky. Yeah, you're right. The bomb that a person threw was like dead clutch. And the splashdown came in as well. So pretty, pretty good play on the team at the end. Not me. I messed up, but the three other teammates did exactly what needed to be done. Bit close. But well played team. Pukes. Booyah. Don't you love when you do a janky bomb throw? And we wiped. I'll cry. <laughs> I knew I was alone there pretty much. Well, not quite, but... Well, we're getting smoked here. Okay, nice recap. Well done. Good special usage there. Wait, what is my obsession with falling off the map these days? It's a bad habit I've got into. It's what I need to shake. The pet tetra is putting in work. Yeah, it's so annoying with Tetris as well when you just like, you almost get him, but then you just miss, miss like a little bit, you know?
We're so far away as well, so... Yeah, I messed that up big time. Not enough. We got smoke then. El Smokeified! Not really a very good show. Just a minus four. That's fine. I can deal with that. Battle time! You might head off now and do something else since the league rotation is so gar garbage. Good luck with the rest of your games. Take it easy, Drago. Much appreciated. Yeah, the league's pretty uninviting. But yeah, thanks for stopping past and you have a good night as well. And uh, I'll catch you another time. Cheers, dude. Take it easy. Right, let's go. They go underneath. I feel. I feel I'm an idiot. Okay, nicely got them. There's a grim. Yeah, I realised that was dumb. That's ah, Coochie Man. They're dead. No. I was away to say I've messed up, I've got my back to them. That was dumb, I knew I'd messed up when I fell down there. Someone above us now? Maybe. Fucking thirsty for it. <sighs> Come on. I should have hit that. You're here like, no worries, Recon. No dramas at all. Oh, I'm just being an idiot. What's your favourite Splat Zones map? I honestly don't have one. Honestly, in this game, I don't have any favourites at all. I just have stuff I like le less, if you know what I mean. Oh, I've just been an absolute fool here. Like, just getting caught out by so much bullshit. And me being an idiot. That was bad. Anytime I see Humpback Pump Track, I'm like, yes. I quite like, I do quite like uh, Humpback. That one was bad, we'll take a heavy loss for that. Like, I just played like an idiot. I don't think I even managed to kill anyone. Um, I quite like Humpback, but then it's the same. It can kind of be a bit funky as well. I, I honestly, like, oh, just a minus two. I honestly feel that there's not any, like, um, for me, like, I'm not like, there's no amazing maps for me. There's not no rotation. 
map mode combo rotation where I'm like, yes, this is amazing. I want to play that. I kind of look and be like, yeah, that's not terrible. Like take tower control at the moment in League. Moray Towers, Kelp Dome. Like that's a stinker. <laughs> Why does that exist? You know, like if you see a if you see a mode like that when you're playing ranked, you're just like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna go do something else. That's you, a rainmaker. You got to go to class again. No worries, recon. Thanks again. You have a good day. Tower control and kelp dome is a sin. Yeah, and and then you combine it with moray as well. You know, it's like what the hell? Who decided that that should be in the rotation today? That's not... Why Why jump there? Why did they ever jump there? I mean, I know I should have had that pick, but... Literally no need for that person to jump there at all. It's just dumb. Nice, well done. It's just clap all somewhere. Ah, oh, I got three shots in him. Yeah, just a cheeky wee minus two. Thought it was going to be worse than that because it just felt more like... Oh, nice pick. Easy. Easy, Torps. I honestly would have preferred that hammer player to just go back and paint zone then. I know they were going for the pick, but we just lost lead. underneath. Someone's underneath. Oh, I could have done better than that, that's for certain. And they're coming up to our snipe as well. We've got time. There's the last one, they're really weak. Nice cancel. I mean, they constantly keep coming in this side, so we need to watch left hand side because they're just coming down here most of the time. 
Nice shots. That was actually really good shots from them. Hold it. I thought they were still weak. Well done. Good pick up. Uh, thank you for the follow. One, two, three, four, zero, five, four. <laughs> or two, zero, five, four. How's it going? The follow's much appreciated. And I hope you're having a good day. And thanks once again for the follow. Um, I hope we won. Well done, team. Well played. Let's go in again. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, twenty, fifty-four. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> okay, battle time. Let's go. Sturgeon. Well, chinked my armor off, so... I had armor as well. Needed a little bit of help. Eek. Yeah, this one's uh this one's complicated. Absolutely destroyed. Embarrassingly so. See what the loss is. Right, I think I'm going to go use the bathroom. <laughs> Minus 16 for that. That was trash. I played terrible. Right, give me two minutes and I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. Yeah, played crap, lose 16 points. It happens. <laughs> it didn't feel... I, I, I mean, I'm always expecting to lose points, but some games you're like, okay, maybe it's fine. I mean, I know I didn't do much, but like our junior... A custom junior never got a special or anything like that, so... But, I mean, it can be tricky. It can be a bit complicated, but no big deal. I would just like to break away from being in this low side of 2200. It would be nice to, like, kind of, like, push it back up a little bit again. Because at 2216, it's dead easy just to suddenly find yourself back in the 2100s again. For me, it is, you know, because I suck. It would be nice, oof, as I say, getting these low power level lobbies as well won't, ha won't help matters. Booyah. Well, that was one of those occasions where I saw them come in and they just moved so fast on us. I mean, they do have a good amount of run and swim speed, but... Okay, they've had a DC. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by this zap. I bet... I bet we have a hard time taking... Yeah, we're going to have a hard time here. Right. Oh, they've had a... Okay, they've had a double DC now. That ends up, I did think, was maybe a little laggy, but... I was a little suspicious, but you... Don't let them recap. Yeah, keeping an eye out on this side. Correct as well. People noticed. Well, they're not good victories, but you take them. You know, especially when they were all over us. But I did think the zap was a little bit, a little bit laggy. Just the way I saw the ink come and then the way that they were suddenly on me. But I was like, I'm kind of shit. So that might happen. So not a deserved win, but you take him, that poor team with two DCs, yeah. But you take him, because as I say, the bullshit, the bullshit comes and goes there, 15 points for that. It's not even fun when you're winning, but we take those. Yeah, exactly. Because you get bullshitted on later, so it's like, I'll take whatever points I get out of that, because I'll get some bullshit happen to me later, you know, so it's like, it's fine. It's not a good victory, but it's like, just... Take whatever I can get. <laughs> I think, though, if they'd kept, if their ends up hadn't dipped like, uh, 
DC'd as well, I think we would have been in for quite a hard time there. Because their DC was slaying, but they did they did end up DC like their end zap, sorry, their DC was slaying. Their end zap was slaying pretty hard, but you know, there you go. Oh, we've got Kiver. We have Dublay armors as well, so Okay, we haven't even capped yet, but there's the cap. Nice, well done. Nope. I'm an idiot. We'll be close to winning this though. But I did have armor. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Kiver. Thank you, rest of the team. Much appreciated. Thanks for the carry and thanks for the two points. Fourteen. Ooh, big points. I thought I was just getting two for that. It's nice to be wrong that way though, you know? That's a good way to be wrong. <laughs> you didn't know people streamed Splatoon? How's it going, uh, Squee boys? Yeah, people stream pretty much every game and Splatoon's definitely one of them that people stream. <laughs> But if you're not looking for content, then you're probably not going to find it. You know, <laughs> I would say. But yeah, people stream Splatoon all the time. Just like every other game. If people are into it, then there's probably someone streaming. There might not be loads of people streaming, but there's generally someone streaming somewhere. And I mean, if you're actually into it, then uh, like if you go and look at in Japan, there's literally thousands of people streaming in Japan, so. I got caught on the corner. Nice inkjet. Arn doesn't seem to get streams on Twitch at least. Okay. I don't know how many people are left playing ARMS. I'm sure someone somewhere is streaming ARMS though. There's always someone streaming a game somewhere that that's their like game that they're totally into. But you're probably right, there's probably not not as many ARMS games. Stay off zones with that.
Yeah, trying to get around. Difficult. Well, arms would be boring to stream anyway. Yeah, but people, I wouldn't say that as like, people are streaming games that they're into, you know? So it's like, that's like pretty subjective. You know, if someone's into that game, then it's not going to be boring for them to stream. You know, because they're into it, they like it, so... I might have killed them. Yeah, and wanted to jump out. You should learn to play Grim. Such a cool blaster. Yeah, it is cool. It's definitely like a cool one for sure. Come on, they're so weak. That's what I mean. When you go against Kiva, life is not made easy. Same again, I mean, we had a triple armor comp as well, so... Can't really do too much here. Unfortunate. I think arms would be boring to watch by itself, but someone who loves the game would certainly make it more interesting. I mean, that's it. That's it for sure. It depends on the streamer as well. But yeah, it's more like... I mean... Most people that stream are just in it for themselves. You know, like, oh, I'm into this game. I want to play it and stream it. And they do that, and then if there's other people that are into the game, they'll come and watch. And obviously things change depending on who's streaming. You know, you might you might randomly check out an arm stream one day and the streamer's like an awesome streamer. They might not be playing a game you want, but you might be like, damn, they're actually like really good at streaming and entertaining or whatever. But if they're playing a game where nobody's nobody's really watching too much, then obviously it would be hard to discover them. But I think it's the same with Splatoon, like... There's a lot of people play Splatoon, like loads of people. I mean, it's one of Nintendo's most popular titles, but I would say as far as content go, there's not that much. There really isn't that much, and I don't know because of that there's not as many people watching as well, because even like... I mean, I know most of the people are Japanese and they've got their own thing going, like Open Rec and things like that. Um, yeah, you know, so the Japanese have got their own scene going, but over on the West, I would say, you know, there's not huge numbers of people watching. What's your opinion on the new PS5 and Xbox? I kind of don't really have one. Um, it's cool that they're coming out. Looks like there's a few good games and stuff, but I've not really looked into them that much, so... I mean, my opinion is... Cool. <laughs> you know, there'll be some good exclusives on each one, I'm sure. And people are going to enjoy playing them. Usual though, PS5's probably the one to get. The PS5 is probably the one to get for the, for there'll probably be more games and straight away, straight away I think there's going to be better games coming out for it, but, but we'll see, you know what, but, you know, buy what you're into. Holy shit. Looked like they walked a bit there. Xbox getting similar loading times for PC. I mean, that's all, that's all good, you know, that's what I mean, it's just like, I mean, I think that's the problem with some of those consoles though now as well, is at what point, I think like, that's not a splashdown or anything, is it? No, because they don't have one. You know, you're kind of getting, getting a bit close to PC territory with a lot of them, but then it comes down to exclusive games, like what games you want to play, I think a lot of the time now. That's all it is.
it's games over systems. You buy systems for the games you want to play on, I think. And I mean, I think these days, if you've got a good PC that you can play games on, I think it's it'd be like difficult to... You know, maybe a difficult a difficult choice on whether to buy like an Xbox or well, no, if you on whether to buy like another console, you know. Hey, logger, how's it going? Yeah, it's still streaming. I've only been streaming for like well, almost three hours. Like, I think it like the Switch is a good one to own because there's obviously. Like, along with either another, like, good console or, like, a PC. But I think, you know, just because you can take it away, there's different games on it. So at least you've got Nintendo titles on something you can either play sitting at home or handheld. I, th I think that that's a good thing. I can't see them changing how the Switch is going to be for a long time now. I think that's where they're going to run because it's always going to sell. You do think that Nintendo is going to... Uh, to dominate the family-friendly market for a while. I mean, but the thing is, is like, I think people, that's always people's things in Nintendo, but you'd think you'd be surprised at how many old people, own, like myself, you know, and a bit younger as well, but like a lot of old people own Nintendos as well. And no matter what people say, unless you're just like some like ill-informed or edgy teenager, is Nintendo still make some of the best games out there that you can only play on their systems? And, and you know, I, like it's it's hard to beat them. Not hard to beat them sometimes, but for you know your Zeldas, certain Mario's, like Splatoon now is super popular. You know Mario Kart and stuff. They're all time legends. They're all time favorites. That you know I think everybody's had fun playing playing Nintendo games at some point. And obviously some people get to their teenage years or whatever and try and get all edgy. And be like, oh, it's just for kids or whatever, but I think they know that the games are still some of the best. You know, it's like those people that, I'm an idiot, I think it's like those, those people that are like, oh, Nintendo should stop making consoles and just like make their games on other things, you know, but really that just means that like someone doesn't want to like buy a Nintendo console, but they're still not denying that the games are some of like, some of the greatest games, you know. Like, games that they want to play. Switch is more comfortable for me, at least, to play than PC. You have Hades on, on the stream for a long time, but ended up playing it on Switch as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think some games as well, especially stuff like Hades is like... I'm gonna die. Hades as well, you know, there's like... That play is pretty decent on Switch, I believe. I'm sure it runs better on PC. Oh my god, they were out of ink as well. But you know, like, skate, there's a lot of games like that that uh, don't necessarily need to be on PC, you know, but... But I mean, I don't, I don't really care. Like, people are entitled to what, play whatever they want on whatever they want. I've got no, no, like, brand loyalty in a sense. Even though I do love my Nintendos and Nintendo games. And I've not bought, like... The only PlayStations I've bought have been for my girlfriend. I've bought her a PS3 and a PS4. <laughs> so that's the only times I bought PlayStations personally, but my brother always used to have one. So I played a lot of PS1 and PS2 games, like. They did ch chip the armor off, mate. Oh shit! Well, I won that just because they popped armor then. Let's paint! I'm a dummy. I'd be spitting facts. Hades does get better frame... Oh, more frame drops on Switch. But not enough to bother you. Yeah, I think as well, like, frame drops are... Mo when you're like... When it's single player stuff like that, frame drops are more just like... They're just annoying and ugly. 
And they can be a little bit annoying and like ruin the gameplay a little bit. But it's not like if you're getting frame frame drops in like a shooter game where it can like be costly, you know? You always forget there's a dynamo with armor. I mean like for me, like I played a lot I played a lot of um Breath of the Wild on handheld, I played a lot of uh, Odyssey handheld. I played all of Link's Awakening handheld just because uh, I pretty much chilled in bed playing it. <laughs> Too much ink coming out of that thing. You'll be right back, no worries. I mean, I've said it, I said it before, when I got my Switch, I ended up, like, that month I got it, I ended up doing quite a bit of travelling and just loved it. Like, I had quite a few... A few plane trips. I had quite a few plane trips to do. And just sitting around, sitting on the plane, playing Breath of the Wild was, like, so good. Like, you know, three-hour flights just, uh, disappearing. No dramas, so... Nice cap. Good ink. Uh, what do you call it? Point sensor. That was a good point sensor. Stayed on for ages as well. Good game. Yeah, just like sitting on the plane playing Breath of the Wild was like, it was awesome. <laughs> so that's when I have like really enjoyed my Switch as well, it's just like... The times when I have used it in handheld have been like really enjoyable as well. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Tweezy. Much appreciated and I hope you're having a good day. And thanks once again for the follow. Yeah, if you ever get to travel again, you have to keep it in mind. I know that's the thing now, it's like the chance of actually being on a plane is like slim as hell. But if you are, yeah, GG's, well played, uh, Tweezel, well played. Um, but don't forget you need a power pack because the battery doesn't last that long, especially if you're playing like Breath of the Wild or something, you can rinse a battery pretty fast, but get yourself a decent power pack. And uh, you're away. You've got two hour bus rides to deal with when I go visit my parents, but cars make you sleepy. Okay. Yeah, I've loved it when I've been traveling. Like, so much fun. And I mean, if you've just got like when I just had like three hour, three and a half hour flights to do. Three and a half hours in Breath of the Wild is like, it's just like a bit of a fun time. <laughs> you know, like three and a half hours in Breath of the Wild is it? literally nothing. I really need to get some ink back here. And Odyssey as well, like, Odyssey's so chill. Like, Odyssey's another good one for traveling because it's not stressful. You can do, like, whatever, you know. So close to getting them. Come on, push him. No! I'm an idiot. Oh, 
Nice, well done. Good hold, good hold. Well played. Took us a little bit to get in at the start, but once we got in, that was a pretty that was a pretty solid hold. So well played, team. Good stuff. Just a plus four. Just a wee plus four. I actually think the weather is not going to be utter tired today. And this week, it looks like we might get a couple days that are not utter shit, so I might get to go outside. <laughs> not that I wasn't outside surfing this weekend, but it's nice when it's not just raining at this time of year. Battle time. Because we had like, that was like three weeks of almost non-stop rain. Gets a little much. <laughs> Oh, cafe. That was bad. I think me and the... Oh no, we don't have another armor. They armored up at the same time, that's what it was. Nice direct, Binks. That was a really good direct. Right, come on, let's get in and get paint in. Why are we, why are we being so slow? You are well, way too slow then. I missed, and I missed the suction bomb on the jump as well. You're back. Nice. We're being, we're just being hell of a slow to like, get in and do stuff here. I was kind of silly, I should have just stayed with the fight then, but I knew there was two of them, so I was hoping that armor would I would get it off from a team. Oh, nice, that actually worked. Yeah, they jumped out. Pretty good control of the map now. There's someone coming in from... No! Why is it always at the low points where you mess up? Mistakes were made, people. Nice recap, well done. It was, they were over on left, I believe. Splat bombed.
Yeah, that was tough. And we wiped off that. So this will be a bit tricky to get back in here. Recap, please. Yeah, well done. Eek. No. The, oh, come on, bubbles. Do some good bubbles. Crap. That's dangerous. No! I threw! What a throw! What a massive throw! No! I suck. Unfortunate. Oh, I suck so much. We're going to lose like 20 odd points for that. I run out of ink. If I'd, if I'd made that shot, then I think we probably would have recapped zone off that. It was a worthy try. Oh, just a minus seven. Not too bad. Think of the points we could have got, though. I was trying to get my ink back, but I was against Cafe as well, so it was pretty, pretty complicated. It was a good try. A couple mistakes were made there. Very costly ones, but there you go. I got the most kills though. I know, but we still lost. But remember, I've got my assist, my assist boost playing ends app. <laughs> Always makes me look slightly better. Battle time. I was thinking they're probably going to get chased out. It's actually quite good to get that lock painted whenever whenever you can oh i got a couple shots in i think i took some damage off yeah the bomb got us where's the rapid it's just a rapid up yeah they've got an up keep keeping an eye on right hand side so There we are. Every time I watch a stream, I end up wanting to play ranked, but I'm in school. <laughs> I do the same thing. Is like sometimes I go to watch a stream and then I'm like, watch for 10 minutes and be like, oh, I'm hyped to go and play. And then I go and lose 15 games of Rainmaker in a row. <laughs> uh, well done for the, thank you for the carry there, team. Always appreciated. Yeah, I do that. It's kind of good. Like that's how these things should do. I'm the same as skating, you know? Just watch some skate videos and be like, yes, I'm hyped to skate. 
but then quite often it's pissing down with rain here and you're like oh well i can't but at least like once you get hyped you can like go and play once you get back home from school <laughs> Battle time. Okay, over to Sturgeon. Been really slow with armor here. And they're already above us, so. And they're armored, so this has got complicated very fast. Nice direct. I was trying to get right into their face. Like when you play blasters and your short range weapon, you need to be like pushed hard up against them there, but they still got a nice shot on us. So well done then. Holy crap. I was away to say, how did they live that? Is there still someone on this side? Okay, they are top left. Okay, I think the tent and missiles took care of them. And they're above us now. No! Dying on zone. Oh, thank you so much for the for the host, uh, Tweezel. That's really, uh, really appreciated. I hope you had a good stream as well. And thanks once again for the host. Spicy. Ooh. Eek. Oh, fully dynamoed. Thank you for the clam games earlier. Saved my ass on some of those. <laughs> no worries. I was getting carried a lot then as well. But uh, yeah, they were, they were some good clams games earlier. I was I was kind of surprised that one, one quite a quite a few clams games and there was definitely a, I was the same, I was definitely a moment, so there was some good teamwork to, to win some of those, but yeah, no worries, it was fun, clams was like, clams went surprisingly well earlier, so that was pretty cool. Oh, I saw someone in behind us, okay. There is, they're out of ink, they've probably got their ink back, but, okay, they got them. But yeah, I hope you had a good stream. Run away! I know it would have been good to hold zone then, but we were too down and uh, in a bit of a, a bit of a spot. No, I thought they dropped down the back. Double bomb. Gotta go. 
You have to go in. You've got to paint. You've got to paint. Ah, uh, they got the picks, but that was unfortunate. Mr. Little Paint. What's your favorite stage? I get asked this a lot, and honestly, uh, Lolga, I don't have one. <laughs> I've got stuff. Uh, there's got stuff I'm like, oh, this definitely sucks. And then others I'm like, oh, they're fine. But I don't have something I'm like hyped to be like, yes, that's totally good, you know? I know it's a crap answer, but it's the truth. <laughs> What's your favorite stage? What's your favorite map mode combo? You might make something spring to mind, but yeah, I definitely don't have anything I'm like, yes, this is the one today. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, like I look at the rotation and be like, oh yeah, that's not horrible. <laughs> I think I'll play. Wahoo world, okay, yeah. I think it's just like, because I play Zap and I'm pretty trash, I think a lot of stuff becomes kind of a bit more complicated, you know, playing short range shooters and not being like really, really good. I think a lot of stuff becomes complicated because there's definitely some maps that favor range and things like that, where if you've got range, you might just still be able to do okay. But if you're like not like amazing in a short range weapon, I think things can get quite complicated at times, unless you're like super good, you know? I mean, at least it ends up a bit more friendly and I can like paint a lot and like get armors and do stuff that way, you know, but it's still uh, not always that straightforward. For me, you know, as I said, like being shit. Shouldn't have traded. You're not trash. And you like Prana Pit as well. I, I, the reason I say I'm trash is like I'm so inconsistent, like I can play good. Sometimes and uh, other times I do play like pure garbage and I know better. I like, like I, it's like I, I've studied the game fair, like a fair bit, you know, and uh, you know I understand a lot, but never pull stuff off. I think that's the problem. I think that's why I say I trash because I know better. I know better a lot of times, and then afterwards I'm like, oh, I should have done this. So I already know that. So like, why didn't I do it? And it's con con constantly the same mistakes over and over again, so it's like, how am I learning? So I know I could, like, I know I could do better it. That's kind of like what, what, what annoys me, you know? How inconsistent I am. No, I shouldn't have, uh, they're the last one. So am I, I go from getting 20 curls to getting three. Yep, I do that all the time. Like, and it's not like, I get it if it was in a rotation, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm playing shit this rotation. No, nope. it's part, you know, game, game to game. You know, it's like, oh, I was awesome that game. And then next game, it's like pure garbage. You're just like, how was that thing? <laughs> Hey Viola man, how's it going? I hope you're good. I hope you've been having a good day and I hope you had a good weekend as well. Yeah, it's like how can you swing so hard from game to game? And it's not just the kills because sometimes like, you know, if you're playing Dynamo or whatever, I know a lot of the times we gauge ourselves on how many kills we get, which is like a bit of an indication, but then sometimes it's just like, you just, you know your overall gameplay was like trash. You had a good weekend. Nice one Viola man. Yeah, me too, actually. I um, I, de I decided on Friday I probably wasn't going to stream over the weekend and I was glad I didn't because I, I feel like good today. I feel nice and fresh and I've had a more enjoyable stream. And I, I definitely was getting a bit salty last week as well. So um, I've had a nice day because of it. Had a bit of luck on my side today as well. <laughs> getting carried. So it's been it's been nice. Yeah, and getting outside and going surfing and getting some exercise over the weekend was uh, really good. But then the problem with me getting exercise after surfing is I come home and I'm the hungriest person alive. 
and I eat so much. <laughs> so I've done all this exercise and then I go and eat like everything. All the stuff in the house, I'm just like unstoppable eating machine. <laughs> it's not very good for my weight, which is a bit up at the moment. Okay. Battle time. Ink blot again. There's two on right. Well, there's one down on right at the moment. And there, but there was someone still down here. They painted it all up. No, I'm dumb. How much power do you need to get in the Splatfest Top 100? Well, I know that they're putting these medals out. Over 2300 has been the number recently, but I expect it'll need to be probably, it'll be higher. People will be going for these medals, so, because a lot of the top players just go in, they don't care, they're just going in to get their, um, they're just going in to get their sea snails and then booking it after that, so they don't really care. They're not really trying. But it was 2300, but I would expect it to be like 25 or higher. Because I got, I got in top 100 the last two months. I, I, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even know that that was a thing up until last month. <laughs> Where I found out and checked and was like, oh, I was number 60 something and then I was like 87th or something this month. Nice pick. They're, they're out of ink anyway, so... There we are. You got 2300 last spl Splatfest. I think I got like 2312 or something, so you, you must have been close with that. The one before I got like 24 something. I honestly don't know how I got those scores, but... I think the worldwide number one's like pretty high, but I, I'll, I, I think for these medals when it comes to that um, uh, mushroom invince mushroom star one, I, I think it's going to be pretty high, and it's going to be like X rank sort of scores, I reckon, like who, whatever the, the top X rank scores are. So, and remember, it's over a whole weekend as well. So I don't know. I think it'll be like. You'll probably need to be at least 2,700 to give yourself a chance. Between 2,700 and 3,000, I reckon. You really hope the medals will make the pro mode more populated. It will do. It will do. I think people will go for it, you know, pretty hard. Because at least there's some incentive. And it's like something pretty cool, you know. I mean, it would be cool to get one of those medals. I mean, you would like it, you know. It would be pretty cool. Over a weekend, but whether it'll be a four-day one or not, I'm not sure, but okay, we're against Sakali.
But Sakali. Nice shots there, I was weak. You're going for the delicious option. <laughs> No, I'm a tur I'm tired at this game. I should have had that armored and everything. When you see a dynamo swinging like that, I'll pick. Oh, that's a GG. Can't do anything about that. Well, we got smoked then. I'll just pick on the day. I've not really thought about it. I mean, I don't really think much about Splatfest in all honesty, but at least that one's got a few interesting things that'll go on with it. El Smokeified. Just a minus three. There. Well, there's not too long left of this rotation. I really need to pee as well, so I am going to dip fairly soon. You recognise half of those players. Yeah, I see. It's the same It's the same in ranked, isn't it? Like, you see the same people over and over again. So definitely uh, recognise most people. Obviously, Sakali is one that we are, most of us recognise for being a good player. But yeah, it's the usual X rank. Oh, there we are. We've got Sakali. Usual X rank. You play it long enough, you see everyone, I think. <laughs> it's just the dynamo up. They probably taken the high ground. I'm an idiot. You're more scared of the ones you don't recognise. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, sometimes you just don't know, do you? It's funny as well, so you recognise people for different reasons as well. I'm trying to save you. I was... I apologise, that was my bad. I was trying to save him, but... It was, a, it was sort of a bit of a dumb jump. Okay, nice one. Well saved, Sakali. Okay, there's three down. Well done. Oh, they've had a DC now as well. Nice, well played. Don't know where the last one is. Okay, they said, ouch, I see him. Well done. Imagine using Custom Junior Airspray in Ranked. Like, I can see, like, at least Custom Junior... Like, some people could do okay with Custom Junior, but there's definitely, like, Silver Aerospray gang. You know, you do know who they are. You've seen them around quite a bit. And it is definitely a bizarre pick. 
Two points. That's my guess. 13? I'll have him. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. And with a DC. Sometimes you do wonder, but I'll have him. Wow, I know. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy that. No, I agree. I agree. Vanilla Junior is definitely better. And not only does it have armor, it's got Splat Bomb as well. Which is way, way superior to um, Autobomb. Yeah, and also as well as if you can play the, the Kenza Jr. If you can play Kenza Jr. and do the bubble strat, that thing's absolutely lethal as well. So it's the same thing as it's like, it's definitely the worst Jr. The other two are, are better picks for sure. I think that's what it is with this game a lot of times. It's like some weapons aren't necessarily that bad, but then you've just got another weapon that does shit better, you know? So like, why use that weapon when the other one exists? I love a quick... I love a quick two down before I get armor. Yeah, I've seen quite a few custom juniors today. And Muggy's do nothing. Hopefully they either come back or they go, they DC, you know, that would be uh, preferable. No, so they better DC. It's just pretty annoying when someone's AFK and you like lose off an AFK before you've even had a chance to win and then they're not classed as a DC, you know? So here we go. Those 13 points we got last time, we're going to lose way more than that. That sucked. We'd lost that from the start. Thanks. <laughs> See what the damage is. Minus nine. Yeah, but, you know, stuff like that I think is just a bit unfair. But what are you going to do? Swings and roundabouts are ranked, isn't it? Okay. Battle time! Let's go. Sturgeon. Decent power level lobby again. you get okay nice well played because we've got double armor as well I'm just gonna pop straight away once I get it apart from I fucked up and wasted it oh nice wall kill Road again and I had armor. Like what am I doing? Being an idiot. That's what I'm doing. Well, 
They're still there. They'll take lead here. Oh, maybe. Getting El smoked again, El smokeified. Yeah, this one seems to be overly complicated. Nice aim. It's definitely a map you can get locked out on pretty hard. We get to zone. That was a way to say. Nice shot. At least we got the recap, so... Okay, let's make sure our court's all sorted as well. Someone's pushed up and doing a good job here. Well done. We could have maybe held a bit better then. Would have been good if they chucked that at the E-Leader, but... Right, let's just try and hold for, for lead here. Shit, it was close. Oh my word, I'm surprised, I'm surprised by that. Oh, good picks, really good picks. Okay. There we are, well played team. Good way to end. Good way to end. Let's see if we get any points for that. Thank you for the carry team. Probably not going to get much. Plus 10. Oh well, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right everyone, I think as much as I need to play, is it Tower now? I do need to play Tower and Rainmaker, but I'm quite tired. It's been three and a half hours and we've had a pretty good run at it today. So it's probably not a bad time to just call it there. But yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new follows and the hosts and everything. It's really appreciated. And thank you for hanging out and chat. So yeah, once again, thanks. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye.